The moon, Earth's celestial companion, has captivated humanity for millennia. Its soft glow and rhythmic phases have inspired countless myths, legends, and scientific inquiries, yet for all its familiarity, the moon harbors secrets. It has silently witnessed cosmic events and human endeavors that have shaped our understanding of the universe. From the dawn of civilization, humans have gazed upon the moon with awe and curiosity. Ancient astronomers meticulously charted its movements, recognizing its influence on tides and seasons. Poets and storytellers wove tales of lunar deities and celestial journeys. Galileo Galilei's observations in the 17th century revealed the moon's cratered surface, challenging the notion of a perfectly smooth celestial sphere. The invention of photography in the 19th century further revolutionized our view of the moon. Detailed images captured through telescopes unveiled the stark beauty of lunar craters, mountains, and vast plains. The 20th century witnessed an unprecedented acceleration in our lunar explorations, culminating in the Apollo missions. Join me as we embark on a journey to uncover the moon's hidden history, exploring tales as stunning as they are true. One of the most enduring mysteries of the moon is the phenomenon known as transient lunar phenomena, or TLP. These are short-lived changes in the moon's appearance, often described as flashes of light or color changes. Reports of TLP date back centuries, with some astronomers suggesting volcanic activity or gas releases from the lunar interior. The ephemeral nature of TLP makes them notoriously difficult to study. Many reported sightings occur spontaneously and last for mere seconds, making it difficult to obtain reliable data. Despite these challenges, there have been a handful of well-documented TLP events that have defied easy explanation. In 1958, astronomers at the Lowell Observatory observed a bright red flash near the crater Alphonsus. Similarly, in 1999, amateur astronomers reported a bright flash near the crater Aristarchus. Further investigation into TLP could provide valuable insights into the moon's interior processes and its history of impacts. The dawn of the space age was marked by scientific curiosity and geopolitical tensions. In the midst of the Cold War, the United States and the Soviet Union were locked in a fierce competition for space dominance. It was during this era that the United States Air Force conceived an audacious plan to detonate a nuclear bomb on the moon. Known as Project A-119, this top-secret program aimed to demonstrate American technological prowess. The plan called for launching a nuclear missile towards the moon, with the detonation occurring on the lunar surface. Among the scientists recruited for Project A-119 was a young Carl Sagan. Sagan's role was to model the dispersal of the nuclear blast's debris plume in the lunar environment. Ironically, this destructive act was also seen as an opportunity for scientific discovery. Fortunately, Project A-119 was ultimately abandoned in 1959 due to concerns about public reaction and long-term contamination. The story of Project A-119 serves as a chilling reminder of the Cold War's reach, extending even to the celestial bodies we hold sacred. The Moon's synchronous rotation with Earth means that it always presents the same face to our planet. For centuries, the far side of the Moon remained a tantalizing mystery. It wasn't until the Soviet Luna 3 mission in 1959 that humanity caught its first glimpse of this hidden hemisphere. The grainy images revealed a landscape strikingly different from the familiar near side. Unlike the near side, the far side is dominated by heavily cratered highlands. One theory suggests that the lunar crust on the far side is thicker, making it more resistant to volcanic activity. Another theory proposes that a massive impact early in the moon's history may have altered the distribution of heat-producing elements. The far side of the moon also holds secrets about the early solar system. Studying the craters and the composition of the lunar surface on the far side can provide valuable insights into the types and frequency of impacts that occurred billions of years ago. The far side's unique environment makes it an ideal location for future scientific endeavors, such as sensitive radio telescopes. The lunar surface, a desolate landscape of craters, mountains, and vast plains, holds clues to the moon's tumultuous past. One such mystery is the presence of swirls, bright, sinuous markings that stand out against the darker lunar regolith. These swirls have defied easy explanation, with some scientists speculating they are remnants of ancient magnetic fields. 
Another enigmatic feature is the presence of water ice in permanently shadowed craters at the lunar poles. These craters, never exposed to direct sunlight, act as cold traps, preserving water ice for billions of years. The discovery of water ice on the moon has profound implications for future lunar exploration. The lunar regolith itself holds secrets about the moon's history and the composition of the solar wind. Embedded within this regolith are tiny grains of material that originated from the sun. By studying the composition of these grains, scientists can learn about the evolution of the sun and its impact on the inner solar system. The lunar surface also bears witness to the history of human exploration, with the Apollo landing site serving as poignant reminders of humanity's first steps on another celestial body. The Apollo program successfully landed 12 astronauts on the moon between 1969 and 1972. These missions captivated the world, pushing the boundaries of human exploration. Yet, alongside the triumphs, whispers of conspiracy theories emerged, questioning the authenticity of the Apollo missions. One persistent theory claims that the Apollo 13 mission was actually an attempt to land on the far side of the moon. However, there is no credible evidence to support these claims. Another theory alleges that the Apollo program discovered evidence of extraterrestrial life on the moon. These claims have been debunked by scientists, who attribute the alleged anomalies to natural phenomena or image artifacts. While these conspiracy theories lack credible evidence, they highlight the enduring fascination with the unknown and the human desire to find meaning in extraordinary events. Among the many mysteries surrounding the moon, perhaps none are as intriguing as the claims of artificial structures on its surface. These claims suggest that the moon may have been visited or even inhabited by intelligent civilizations in the distant past. One of the most famous examples is the Shard, a tall spire-like feature photographed by the Lunar Orbiter 3 mission in 1967. Conspiracy theorists claim that the Shard is an artificial structure, possibly a tower or antenna. However, scientists have debunked this claim explaining that the Shard is simply a natural geological formation. Another alleged anomaly is the castle, a rectangular feature photographed by the Apollo 10 mission in 1969. Scientists have identified the castle as a crater rim, its rectangular shape a result of the angle of the photograph, and the play of light and shadow. While these specific claims have been debunked, the possibility of ancient artifacts on the moon remains an intriguing, albeit remote, possibility. As we venture further into the 21st century, the Moon is once again becoming a focal point of space exploration. Ambitious missions planned by space agencies and private companies promise to unlock further secrets of our celestial neighbor. These endeavors aim to establish a sustained human presence on the Moon, paving the way for scientific discoveries and resource utilization. The Moon is believed to hold vast reserves of helium-3, a rare isotope of helium that could be used as fuel for future fusion reactors. Additionally, water ice found in permanently shadowed craters at the lunar poles could be a valuable resource for future lunar inhabitants. The far side of the moon, shielded from Earth's radio interference, is an ideal location for sensitive radio telescopes. The lunar surface also provides an opportunity to study the effects of long-term exposure to the space environment. These future missions to the moon are not just about scientific discovery. They are about pushing the boundaries of human ingenuity and expanding our presence in the solar system. The moon, a silent sentinel in the night sky, has captivated humanity for millennia. Its soft glow and rhythmic phases have inspired countless myths, legends, and scientific inquiries. As we delve deeper into the moon's mysteries, we gain a profound appreciation for our place in the cosmos. From the first tentative steps on its dusty surface to the ambitious missions planned for the future, our exploration of the moon has been a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity. Each new discovery deepens our understanding of the moon's formation and its intimate connection to Earth. Yet even as we unravel its secrets, the moon retains its aura of mystery. The whispers of conspiracy theories and the enigmatic lunar phenomena serve as constant reminders that our celestial companion still holds secrets waiting to be unveiled. The journey to the moon is a journey into ourselves, a testament to the boundless potential of the human spirit and our insatiable desire to explore the universe.